Hey friends, it is Jenna What Is Up and welcome back to the Board Game Garden and welcome to a how to play video of this game right here. This is My Favorite Things. It is published by Play for Keeps who's helping sponsor today's video. It is designed by Nilgiri, I believe, and it is illustrated by Archie Edwards. And this is a three to six player game that plays in about 30 minutes and it plays 14 plus. And I'm very, very intrigued by this game because it merges together two very interesting mechanics that you don't typically or I've never seen actually before be put together. And that is trick taking, which is one of my newfound loves here in the hobby, as well as a party game. So it's a trick taking party game. Very fun, super cool. I'm very excited to show you guys this one today. Um, but yes, this will be up on Kickstarter very soon. Might be the day that this goes up, might be in like a day. Whenever it does, I will have all the links down below to that if you guys are interested. Um, this alongside the String Railway will be up on Kickstarter. Um, they will be going together and both of them are actually reprints of Japanese games. This one actually used to be called I My Favorite Things. So that's why they put the little eyeball there. But it is now called My Favorite Things and we are going to get right into the how to play. I'm going to show you guys the setup how it plays, all those things. So if you are interested in hearing all of that, then just keep on watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy. Also hit that subscribe button down below if you've yet to do so. We'd love to have you here in the garden. And comment down below if this is a game that you are interested in. Let me know, I'd love to chat about it. But yes, without further ado, let's get into the how to play of My Favorite Things, shall we? In My Favorite Things, players will be competing to collect the most hearts. And in order to get hearts, players must win tricks in a standard trick-taking game. But a little twist is that players will be playing with cards of not numbers, but different items and categories ranked by their neighbors. So players will not know what number each of the cards are, but they kind of have to guess what their neighbors have ranked in certain places from numbers one to five. There is also additionally a broken heart, which is an item or something in that category that that person dislikes. So you're probably wondering how exactly that plays out. So let's get into first the setup. At the beginning of the game, each player will choose a color and take the coordinating six sleeved cards as well as the category card and a dry erase marker. The hearts will be placed in a pile in the center of the table and the first player marker will be passed to the youngest player. Note that this is a prototype that I'm showing you and in the final production, some components will be different. Now that each player has a full set of cards, which includes numbers one to five as well as a broken heart, like I mentioned, each players will now take their category card and write down a category of their choice. Good categories are broad enough that it's easy to come up with things in them, but not so broad that it becomes overwhelming. If you need to narrow down a category, consider adding a caveat. Instead of giving a category like places, maybe say places you'd want to buy a house. Once all players are finished writing down a category, they pass that category to the person on their left or in clockwise order. And then all players will start writing down their rankings in the specific category given by their neighbor. All the cards are double layered with the writing card on top and the numbered card on the bottom. And players will simply slide up the top card, writing whatever they want on that card and sliding it back down to cover up that card's coordinating number. Players should be careful to keep the numbers secret from the other players and make sure they are fully slid back down so no other players see the numbers. Once all players are finished writing down all of their rankings on the cards, they will give those cards as well as the category card back to the player that initially gave it to them. Then, once all players got back the category card that they wrote down as well as the six cards written out by their neighbor, each player, starting with the first player, will read out their category as well as the six cards that they got back from their neighbor. Before then, moving into the trick-taking part of the game. Players will play down cards, starting with the first player, like a typical trick-taking game, trying to put down the lowest number. That lowest number being their neighbor's highest ranked thing in that specific category. Players will be looking at their cards, trying to think what rank each of these items would be to their neighbor. Then, once all players have finished playing out a card, one player will pull up or slide up the top card, revealing the number of each card played by each player. The player that played the lowest number will take the trick, but if a one is played and also a broken heart card is played, the broken heart is trump and takes the win. 
The winner of the trick then takes a heart and all players take back their cards. This will continue. Players will be playing down tricks until they have no more cards. In the first round, once that first round is finished, a second round will begin. Players will then think of another category, pass that category and their cards to their right neighbor, the opposite neighbor from the first round. The game will play out again in the second round, the same as the first, and the player with the most hearts at the end of the game will win my favorite things. Alright friends, so that is going to be everything for today's video and how to play my favorite things. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Like I said, I will have the links down below to the Kickstarter if you want to go check that out. If you're just watching this after the fact and you already have my favorite things, then hopefully you enjoy playing. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button down below if you've yet to do so. We'd love to have you here in the garden. And yeah, hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, you are somebody's reason to smile and I will see you guys in the next board game video. Bye friends!